strong conditioning powers. Yeah. She has great powers of conditioning. She'll she'll Three, force you one way, two, and then at the most one, critical moment, she'll go. she'll use she'll use the trump card that she spent three stocks like yeah. uh, uh, conditioning you for. So we're going in now on Omega Palisades Temple. Uh, okay, Carnage takes control of the neutral right now. Reading the ledge roll with that down end, it covers multiple yeah. options because he can choose to drift it either way. Matsu already coming down with a lot of attacks. Not oh, it's away. So. She's she's rushing in. She, yeah. she she spaced it right, but she's got she got tagged with the second hit of a uh, dash attack. But Carnage tries to react to the spot dodge with the side beam. Makes himself safe anyway with a float. All I, all, literally, all I see are in this matchup are are hitboxes. Yeah. Like hitbox, hitboxes, like not the fastest of hitboxes, but the scariest ones. No. And they're sort of inter, they're interleaving around each other. Yeah. Okay. Garni's gonna need to stop. Uh, I think he's gonna stop attempting that fairly soon. Turn and throw down on the ledge yeah. because uh, Mars, Mars recovery is a bit too strong to be, to be uh, tagged by that. High up into the blast zone goes Matsu. Not gonna take the first off for Carnage. Tries to catch a neutral, a neutral get up with a fair. There we go. Punish getting pressing caught buttons. out by that side B bait again. Yeah, it's really strong because you want to press a button against it so badly. It Matsu feels like you should be able to punish it. And you I just feel like can't. Matsu could have gotten a bit more off of that dancing bait. Yeah. Yeah. And there that you go. There's that, that trademark fair of carnages. He's gonna he's gonna press that button until you respect it, and then he's gonna start tomahawk again. Mm -hmm. Matsu mixing up her side B's there. Only going for two that time. With her back turned, use the up tilt there. You take you one advantage of the fact that Carnage thinks he has a god-given right to press a button there just because her back is to him. But uh, up tilt showing him otherwise. There we go. Really good read on the air dodge. Great bait. Oh, way like Sal the toad. There. Yeah. That felt like it could have been an F smash. Yeah. Even Sal spot might have come yeah. there. Red, is... the, read the first air dodge, but didn't quite get the second one. Oh, there gets the go. turnip catch that time. Most, most tagged her with the, uh, with the, with the fair again. But made oh, it. up throw, yeah, does kill. That's going to take it at this percent. No punish for you, Matsu. Matsu getting put to the ledge again. Carnage in, 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 in with significant control over this match. Wow, I'm absolutely oh, that could do it. I'm absolutely eating my words about those downward town and turn it Yes. Yeah. Because Marth has a very linear recovery. It's a it's linear quick, recovery, but it linear. has it has a I think it's a hitbox that clinks with things. I'm not sure if it's got invincibility. Yeah. That's but if you can just avoid the hitboxes, just thread the turnip through, as yeah. Carnage has been showing. Yeah, absolutely. Even so, I'm being it's been proven that it's just giving Matsu something another thing she needs to yeah. consider when recovering. So go ahead, I Carnage, just go ahead and keep using it. It's, it's free. Yeah. Card is now just racking up this damage on Masu's last stock. Masu though, putting on some pressure with the, with the, with the range of the sword. Masu doing a better job of just keeping safe, like retreating aerials more than anything in neutral. Yeah. Absolutely. But then again, that's how Marth, that's how that's yeah. how Marth tends to do things in the neutral. Yeah. Like he doesn't want to unless he's playing against a particularly defensive player or character, he doesn't really want to be going fully forward all the no. time. He almost got tagged with that F uh, that fair there. That's a problem with mine. I keep preferring to uh versus F smashes in the heat of the moment. To be perfectly honest, Peaches is, is like an F smash. <laughs> He's turning himself around in neutral, and I keep thinking he's about to throw throw out that turn, that uh, side B. Yeah. I feel like maybe looking for the bear as well. Yeah. Just waiting for Matsu to push any buttons. Oh, but that stage spike! You got Super Smash Brothers for Wii U's. That's a verb. <laughs> it is a big risk any time you Matsu go down there. Okay, so after after a couple of hits of Dancing Blade. A few times now, Carnage has uh, has rolled. So I think Max yeah. might, might be able to have that less than that in the future. A bit late on that. The side B just catches the roll back to ledge. Oh, the turnips nice. Matt is going to take it. No, oh, not quite. No. Just gets back. She's living. But that up tilt does. Game. Yeah, sorry, up tilt. Max is doing or an F tilt. Oh,
I think it was an up tilt. Yeah. Ambler. Fact check. Was that an up tilt or an F tilt? That's an F tilt. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, Matsu was doing a very Thank good you, job. Thank you, Hammer. Matsu was doing a very good job <laughs> that game of just keeping her jump, keeping all her resources when she was off stage. Yeah. Like you saw that turnip snipe. We were thinking she was dead. Yeah, absolutely. But she still had she all her resources. You need to do that against yeah. against uh, against Peach because uh, ha having your having your stock ended at like thirty percent yeah. by a turn it sucks. Yeah. Well, that's just the trait of the Fire Emblem characters in general. Of you have to learn how to respect your jump. Yeah. You have to know when to jump, when it's safe. Because if you yeah. lose your jump, you're gonna have a very difficult time landing. No, it's I think, especially I think, against. I think, I think Corin and I think Corin and Robin have a fairly decent time. Yeah. yeah. Like. Corrin and Robin have a fairly decent time getting back. Um, like Corrin, because you can't really mess with the yeah. unless you catch it right at the beginning. Like those wings are going to protect her from all sorts of madness. <laughs> Matsu sticking with Husbando rather than going for the counter. Excellent spacing on that on that jab. Happy to with normals in the neutral gang. Shark with the net through the back. Matsu building up ahead of Sleep and gets Ooh. attacked with a counter. Carnage saying, please do not walk up to me and press buttons. You will get hit with this toad. Downwards again. Carnage again getting a lot of mileage out of that downward throw and turn it. Matsu now just taking control and not letting Carnage return to neutral. This is this is pretty much where she wants to trying to fish for a back air there, Carnage choosing to come back low. And he has the privilege of doing that because of flow. Matsu not pressing anything up, it's a really good decision not to yeah. there. Managed to get a grab punish. And that tip of back air takes the first stock. Complete opposite of what we're seeing in the in the uh, in the first or what we were seeing in the first game. Yeah. Like Matsu is doing really well at controlling the space. Yeah. In the air. There we go. And again, get caught with those get caught with those buttons. And she's making great use of these platforms as well. Just trapping Carnage on them. Really good catch on the neutral gear. Carnage Ooh. going for a read that really wasn't there. I hadn't seen I hadn't seen Matsu roll on stage once yet. No. Okay. Ooh. Just throwing it out again and again and again until she trades with what you would assume was superior buttons. Yeah. But no, that's gonna be Carnage taking another one with an F with a fair. Carnage knowing when he can punish these side B's. Yeah. It's always after the second hit of the side B. Yeah, she seems there seems to be a habit that Matsu's developed um, in this game. I don't know much about exactly about the frame data. Yeah. The, the, what kind of disadvantage she's at if she chooses not to do the second B at the third hit. Mm. But it always seems to be two hits of dancing blade and then Carnage rolls. Yeah. Right. Oh, just air dodging through that forward smash. Space back air, putting it on a well power shielded uh, carnage. It's a four tilt, not quite going to kill from center stage. But then again, just making him respect these buttons. Oh, and again, another up B stage spike. <laughs> Got smash forward again. Carnage just not respecting that up B. It's one of those things, if you're going to go down there and try and get Marth, you need to be ready yeah. to tech in case of the worst. That's it, anyway. With a really commanding lead in this one. Really good decision not to press buttons though. Carnage building up ahead of safe zone. Yeah. Don't press he's, he can, Carnage could also say don't press buttons from there. There out of flow. Mm -hmm. just, oh gets hit by the turnip! Catches, catches the turnip! turnip. Yeah. And again, I she kept that. her jump while off stage. Yep. He used the air dodge to catch the turnip as well. Oh. Carnage trying what we saw in the first game there of countering the up with Poe. That was a really, by the way, that was a really good bait there from Matsu. Yeah. Matsu made like she was going to drift forward. It's pretty much neutral jumped in place. There we go, and again. Nice. I like that. I like the way he shot through the ledge, stops mm. Peach floating. Maybe that was Carnage floating. Maybe Carnage needs to float a little bit higher. It's possible. Oh. Matsu actually spot dodging that side. That was a tech, good yeah. take that time. He needs to watch out, it's very hard to catch Peach when she's floating down like that because the umbrella keeps up assisting the hitbox above. Mm -hmm. Forward throw, not killing yet. And there goes Matsu's ready again. Again, just hitting with that up B, just clearing yep. off the ledge. Yep. Please stop trying to edge guard me. Forward throw, you still not killing. Lose position in the loop. Really good. Maybe a grab punish might have done there. 
back air. Really we'll good read from Carnage, that was. 77% though, it's not impossible from Carnage. I say read, it was probably a reaction. <laughs> Carnage's reactions are slightly broken. As I'm trying to find his way in between the tri platforms, I think that's I think that's where Peach is going to be worse in this matchup. Yeah. The last cards in, in this area are just, yeah. are just, are just so good. Well, being above Martha, Martha, Martha being above Martha is such a terrible place to be. Absolutely. Now we're at the point of any of Martha's tippers will be killing Carnage. I like the fact that Matsu's just staying about three character lengths away from the ledge there, saying, get back on stage, please. Ooh, there we go, don't press buttons near me. I've got all sorts of buttons to combat yours. <laughs> Opting not to challenge the float there, making, making, forcing Carnage to land on stage. Carnage probably feels a bit lucky there that he got away with that. And will up throw be- oh. No, the up throw won't hurt this person, I don't think. There we go, she's doing that thing we were talking about, just drifting back in the neutral, drifting back in the neutral yeah. with buttons. Very, various sword aerials. Really good fake out there from Carnage. Carnage does a really good job there, both at kill percent now. He needs to watch out for fair. And up throw, up throw, takes the game. Yep, takes the game thanks to a little bit of, uh, a little bit of rage there. Yeah. Angry Matsu. <laughs> angry, angry, angry Matsu will up throw you to death at 150. <laughs> Your damage only serves to make her angrier. So now it's one game apiece. Going into game three, where one of them will be going home. Is this who put Carnage into losers bracket? Ah. So I know he beat Jams game one. Yeah, that was quite a close game. I'm not entirely sure that. who. Sorry. I'm not entirely sure who it was. Oh, okay. Uh, Smashbound, I think. Ah, his own doubles partner. Yeah. Who he's in? Uh, he's in. I think he's in winners semis in uh, in doubles with. Winners finals. Winners finals. Ah. Against you, Popsu. Amber. Against Popsu. Yeah. So we're getting a bit of a preview here. Yeah. Matsu creeping under the hitbox of the first hit of Nair. Sorry, Carnage creeping under the hitbox of the first hit of Nair. There we go, Punish on that second hit of Dancing Blade. Carnage already starting to take a commanding lead of this game. Yeah. Just <laughs> not letting Matsu win at all. I love, I love Carnage's slow walk there. You, because of, I think it's because of Peach's skirt. Yeah. It's like, creates some weird illusion where you, you, she, she doesn't look like she's moving. <laughs> also, I love Peach's crouching animation. We got a satin, Ooh. we got a satin. Now, but was that gonna, that's not going to kill. Oh, oh that's going to kill from centre stage, and that is something to regret for Matsu. Yeah, and Matsu now has a bit of a mountain to climb already. But really, she's really, really going for this edge guard. It was, it was right for her to try her up with the tip of there. Yeah. It's only from just that edge guard, she's almost bringing it back. Yeah. Like she's got Carnage into kill percent. Carnage in kill percent for a very select group of moves yeah. that Moth has. They're all they all involve the tip of the sword, so yeah. it's not the work is the work is far from done. Ooh, really good good, good Carnage tech from Carnage there. Tech. He's been hit with that twice. He's saying no, not a third. Matsu missing her own attack of her own there. Mat I saw I saw a button, a revert, yeah. like a backwards button come out from Matsu there. I think she was anticipating a roll there from Carnage. Yeah. Punish doesn't typically roll that much. He ten tends to take to the air to get out of trouble. Yeah. Matsu now perhaps trying to fish for a grab. I think look at that up throw. Yeah, she's fishing for a grab there, but yeah. also when she's not when she's not doing that, there she's uh, she's pressing putting a button on Carnage's shield and then yeah. jumping in and neutral jumping and baiting out a button. Yeah. Like and I think it could come good for her. Doing a good job there to just yeah, avoid the out the counter. For the toad. Gets tagged with the back air, that's gonna send her long into the blast zone, takes about 2% of the damage while she's out there. Needs to watch out, re-catches. Okay. Just a bit of off space there from Carnage. But he's he's in full control of this game at the moment. Yeah. Because sitting at 170 loses the stop. That's gonna be a big advantage for Carnage in this match, from one of, from which yeah. one of them is going home. Oh, God, I do not that care is a that brave you are charging. Man. 
the just same. sat there and looked you are gonna her release her right <laughs> now. Carnage looked her dead in the eye and said, I am going to power shield this. I'm not scared of your buttons. Oh, but that's him in there. Not killing. Not killing, but Carnage needs to be careful here. He's definitely at kill percent. Carnage, tip affair from Carnage. Tip, tip affair from Matsu. Yeah. Will take, will take the stock at this kind of stage position. I'll throw him on the platform. Doesn't do it, yeah. Almost but tip affair, not quite killing. Matsu looking for it again, but kind of just snaking with those air dodges. Overextended from Matsu there in the ledge. Yeah. Really good punish on that on that there. Not being scared. Matsu's uh, really keeping herself in this. That, I think that could have been the stock. That could have been the stock. But that's that is take the stock. Forty percent. Nothing in it right now. Tim, Tim, cheerleading. <laughs> Got a, we've got a Matsu who's off stage, currently being a little bit bullied by Carnage, but far from out of this game. Oh! oh my goodness, the ring! Oh! He's ready for him to go low! Oh! Goodness. That what came from nowhere! Oh my goodness! From nowhere! Can we not, please? Can we not? I'm not ready. No, no. I'm not. Hold my hands. Hold my hand. Why are we. Where did that come from? Explain Who yourself! <laughs> He's just a boy! <laughs> <laughs>